Rabbits are one of the most frequently tested on animals because they are easy to confine, breed, and are quiet. More than 160,000 of them are used in U.S. laboratories every year. Today, I accompanied Caroline, the founder of Bunny Bunch Rescue, to save 10 laboratory rabbits. Many of these rabbits have never seen the light of day. This is how it went. Okay, so yeah, uh, we haven't met before. No, we haven't. Nice to meet you, finally. Nice to meet you, Caroline. So your rescue, Bunny Bunch, mm -hmm. is located in Montclair. Yeah, that's one location, and then we have another one in Fountain Valley. Fountain Valley. Where are you from originally, because of your accent? Yeah, England. England, I love it. Thank you. So I didn't have to go all the way to England for this video. I have an English woman right in front of me. Yeah. Can I film you getting out of the car? No, we can't have any cameras, even phones, nothing at all, because it can cancel the whole situation and we might not be able to save the rabbit. So okay. right now everything's off. Even phones have to be in purses to go in. Okay, so when we do a lab rescue, everything is 100% confidential because what happens is instead of calling us to rescue the rabbits, they'll be euthanized. Because what happens is people will post about that place and all this, which of course we don't want um, rabbits in labs. We want to get that stopped. But to rescue these rabbits, the only way we can do it is to keep it confidential. So when I go in, I'll be signing all kinds of paperwork, which it's different for every lab, you know, but before in the past, it's been that nothing will be filmed to do with the lab. They address the name, nothing, no information will be given out at all to anyone. So, so you have to sign an NDA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we sign that. And then um, after we have the rabbits, then we contact the lab and try to talk to them about alternatives instead of using rabbits. And and that has worked in the past, you know, with some, we don't just end it once we've got them. We want to obviously try to not have to have them have any rabbits ever again. So I'm really surprised that actually when, when I think of like testing rabbits, it sounds so outdated and it sounds like something that happens overseas, but this is <laughs> happening in our country, in mm -hmm. our backyard every day it's terrible yeah it's illegal in other countries and so that's what has to happen in america i mean it has to stop you're right it is there's no need for it there's all sorts of alternatives it's just people just keep doing what they're doing and for some reason you know that maybe is just easier for them and obviously the animals don't matter to them and so that's what we're over the years have been trying to change and we have been successful and that's what we try every time we get a call with the lab we always say yes to everything, yeah. get the rabbits out, and then work with them to try to get them to change their policy. So we got the bun. We did it. Oh, it's exhilarating. Ever since they called me, you know, to let me know about them, you never ever know if you're going to be able to save the rabbits. Yeah. Right until the last minute. So we just found out this minute by closing the doors on the car with the bunnies in there and leaving that they're all safe. And they are all here in the back of her car. Look at them, New Zealand whites. Oh my gosh. So we'll get them all safe at Bunny Bunch, do some health checks, choose names for them, get them some veggies, although their diet was just pellets, so we slowly introduced veggies. They probably never ever had any hay at all. So we'll enjoy doing that and they'll start living the proper life of a rabbit and then um, we need homes for them. Yeah, so we are here at Bunny Bunch. So when you walk into Bunny Bunch, you're greeted with their lovely store filled with bunny supplies, toys, treats, hay, and they also offer bunny boarding. They operate at two physical locations in Southern California, which I will link right down below. 
So here at Bunny Bunch and Bunny Bunch Boutique, we do rescue of rabbits, um, some guinea pigs, chinchillas, um, but we also offer grooming for rabbits. We do it seven days a week. We have our Bunny Bunch Boutique store where we have everything for rabbits, and we also do bunny boarding. And so um, going out of town, we have no limit on the time you can have your bunny stay with us. We also care for elderly bunnies, special needs bunnies. The big ones first, actually. Here they are. Safe at Bunny Bunch. Yay! Hi, babies. Oh, so cute. Okay. As you can see, every single rabbit was visibly shaking and terrified. You know, we just want them to relax, get settled and realize that they're not in a lab anymore. And that they're gonna be spoiled, get everything they need, start having proper bunny life. And that's 10, 10 bunnies. No, it's very scary. Okay. We just, you know, took them from where they're used to living, even though they're living in a bad situation as a lab, it's where they live and what they're used to. So any adjustment, you can see, look at this bunny. See how scared that rabbit is? You can just see by oh my gosh. seeing. So what we just do is do some gentle strokes. They don't know what's gonna happen. They don't know what's next. So, you know, we rescue rabbits all the time from the shelters, rabbits that are found. But most of those rabbits have had some kind of home. A lot of them are bad homes. <laughs> but when rabbits have been in this situation, they're basically in a very small setup and uh, get pellets and that's it. No veggies, no hay, um, nothing to play with, no chews, no toys, nowhere to run. Um, it's just a very, very, very sad life for a rabbit. And so we spend a lot of time with them in carriers like this. Um, the reason being because they often, they feel safer. If we just took this rabbit, put him in, you know, the run room or something for playtime, the rabbit would be really scared, try and find somewhere to hide, not move and sit there and shake. And so it takes time for them to adjust. They do adjust. Um, we've done, like I said, many lab rescues over the years. Oh, so sweet. Oh. But it's just uh, letting them be rabbits. <laughs> And uh, they realize though, you know, they start getting the hay, they start getting the veggies, they get the strokes, we talk to them, and um, they all come around. It just can take a while. Yeah. Come on, hi. Yeah, so lovely. Oh, good boy. Look at that. Hi, honey. Yeah, oh, just look at their nails. Nails need to be trimmed. So we check the ears to make sure there's no ear mites, that there's no buildup of wax, anything like that. And then we're going to check back here, this area. We look for flea droppings, which are little black dots. But so far, so good. You can see he's scared his eyes. I know, honey. I got to turn him over. Okay, baby. Hi. You can yeah. actually tell that they've been sitting in their urine yeah, they based don't, on the paws. Exactly. They don't normally provide litter boxes for them. So they're just in cages. Often the ones that have the terrible wire where it just drops through. We always double check the sex. We can see their males. Check the genital area. Make sure everything looks fine. Yeah, I know. The first nail trim too.
right, the important thing about brushing a rabbit is rabbits groom themselves, they're very clean, and they ingest their fur, the loose fur. Unfortunately, unlike a cat, they can't vomit, so they can't vomit up a hairball. Therefore, it sits in the GI and it can slow down and stop the GI. So rabbits should be brushed on a regular basis several times a week. And when they're shedding, they should be brushed every single day. We got a, you can name this one too. Oh, I get to name mm -hmm. this one. So it's best to get a little stroke on the head first. Oh, talk so to them scared. softly. It's probably never felt any affection Not before. at all. No. So sad. Yeah, you can just tell by their faces and their eyes. Oh, you are heavy. Oh, yeah, they are. New Zealanders are normally around eight to ten pounds. Okay. These New Zealand whites are on the heavy side. They're one of the bigger breeds of rabbits. They actually, uh, what's the best way to say this? Um, they're fat. <laughs> I was, trying, I was trying to be politically correct. <laughs> Historically, New Zealand whites are used in labs because of their heftiness. It's typically because they are only on a pellet diet, they're in cages, they don't get exercise, and also their fur is white, which allows for easier visibility of the testing versus a multicolored rabbit. And sadly, the red-eyed New Zealand whites are also one of the least desired rabbit breeds in terms of being adopted and it's really it has everything to do with their eyes people don't like the red eyes it's so so sad also in the labs you know caroline was telling me that they're scruffed a lot which means that they're constantly being picked up by the scruff and as we know that's the number one way to not pick up a bunny it doesn't provide any spinal support any lower body support it's extremely scary and it reminds them of being picked up by a predator like a hawk so it can be very traumatizing and painful for them to be picked up by the scruff. Remember that rabbit skin is very, very thin. When people get to know these bunnies, they become their favorite type of rabbit. They are so sweet, so gentle. And as you can see, these rabbits, they're very, very scared right now. They just came out of, honestly, a very traumatizing situation. And so it takes it's gonna take a little time for them to warm up to their new homes, but once they do, um, I know that it can be very rewarding for their fosters or future adopters. And so they're going to have to go through a transition in their diet mm -hmm. to go from an only pellet diet mm -hmm. to now integrating veggies and hay and, and they're going to be in bigger spaces. So I'm going to name you, should I, should I name him after a guy I've dated? What if he was a nice guy? Uh, who's like a nice guy that I've dated? I don't think there are any, actually. <laughs> sweetie. Sweetie. Oh, that's lovely. Sweetie. Because you're a sweetie. So once Sweetie is neutered, he'll be up for adoption via Bunny Bunch. And I will link everything down below, guys. And I'm also going to be fundraising. If you want to donate and help Bunny Bunch, any little amount helps. Um, as you can see, they run a huge rescue and they have so many bunnies to tend to. And Caroline goes on these rescue missions almost every day. She's saving bunny lives every day. So if you want to send them supplies or a little bit of money, or if you're interested in fostering or adopting and you live in the LA area or Southern California, um, please contact Caroline. Again, I'll put everything down below. So to help Caroline and Bunny Bunch out, I drove one of the bunnies named Hope to their new foster home. We are setting up Hope's foster space right now. That's really good news, actually, because it means he's not doing too shabby. He doesn't seem to use his legs that well in the back. He's just so stiff, I bet. Yeah, I was going to say, his legs don't seem to be, like, developed very well. You know, I honestly can't even imagine just 
being trapped in a cage 24 seven for God knows how long. Has no idea what a litter box is. Mm -hmm. Doesn't even know what to do with it. Seeing a bunny like Hope with minimal use of his back legs was heartbreaking. A bunny should know how to hop. Every day, rabbits are being tested on all over the world. Your shampoo, your lipstick, your deodorant was likely tested on a rabbit. Rabbits suffer from burns, cuts, and all sorts of pain inflicted on them from the testing. Many are not lucky enough to go to a rescue after being discarded by the lab. In fact, most of them will die in the process. They can't speak up for themselves, so speak up for them. There are three main ways you can help. One, shop cruelty-free. Two, spread the word. And three, adopt or foster a lab bunny. More info on how you can help will be below, including a fundraiser for Bunny Bunch Rescue. We love you all and we'll see you soon. I just want to see all that you are But here in the dark There's a sliver of light peeking in Here in the dark There's a sliver of light